So, in these streams, I talk about the news, the media, the constant bombardment of stories that have very little relation to you as an individual. There, it's good to know about what's going on in your community and your meaning surroundings, and I can understand how people want to be informed about what's happening in the wider world. But I've noticed this negative effect on myself where I'm just hearing about this horrible person over here did this, that thing happened over there. And they're completely unrelated to my life. And so when I tune out from the news, all of a sudden that negativity stops bringing my mood down. And I, I, I feel like it's actually better to be in this place where you're not worried and concerned about it. Um, of course, there is an argument to be made that you need to know about these things. Uh, I'm not so sure how I feel about that. But recently, something happening in the news that I think most people are going to feel a strong connection to is what's happening over in the Amazon rainforest. And uh, I got really emotional about it last night, kind of kicked myself up into a, you know, you know that belly aching feeling where you're like, oh God, everything's going to burn, you know, like kind of got into one of those moods. And then this morning I had time to do a little bit of research and uh, kind of got my head around the situation better. Right? Bliss for ignorance is light bulb. Yikes, dude. No, not bliss for ignorance. Or maybe. But look, you're going to. You don't need to. There is billions of people on this planet. There are many, many things that happen every single day. Every single day on this planet, things are happening. The question is do you need to know about all the horrible things? Because that's what the news tends to do. Constantly bombarded with stories that seem somehow dislocated and disconnected from you as a person yet you're somehow invested in these things that are going on and I understand that things are important and that they need to be known about but for your own mental health tuning out can do wonders it did wonders for me I get stressed I get worried I get that feeling in my stomach oh this is happening in the world that person's done this oh isn't it awful but so much of it is just completely out of the scope of what can I do about this nothing you know, like I, I don't have the power to deal with that. Like this beyond me, and so by tuning out, I don't carry that burden with me. And I can understand the argument of uh, that you're putting forth there. But I just, at the end of the day, it's better for my health, and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that there. Now, when it comes to the Amazon rainforest, though. It's. I think it's hard to, to put forth that argument of feeling disconnected from it because brought up, been been brought up and educated, knowing that the uh, Amazon forest is essentially the lungs of the planet. They like to call it. Found some statistical information about that that's interesting. Numbers get thrown around, and sometimes there can be different opinions on the numbers and whatnot. So anyway, I I was. Um, learning about what was happening last night and I was getting sucked into a kind of you know a bit of a negative feedback loop but then t this morning I read some other stuff and it kind of helped me understand what's happening a little bit better so this is in no way a means to diminish the importance of the situation so what's happening over there at the moment right now has actually been going on for years right like this this burning and clearing of the forest is horrible it's been happening though to make way for farming um, economics is pretty much driving that right like economics is a driving force for a lot of things and it often puts the environment second and they've got a prime minister over there who's changed policies on protecting the rainforest and is now looking at it as a you know a means to create economic opportunity which generates wealth and that wealth tends to get sucked to the top but it does you know affect the country and people as a whole but anyway yeah there's been this storm of media about what's happening lately because there's these horrific images of all these fires these fires some of them happen naturally and I was trying to get some figures that I could put into percentages it seems it seems that like although they're burning the Amazon rainforest it's maybe not more than 50% of these fires that aren't natural. But the natural fires that are happening are not part of the Amazon's... Um, like, it's not, a, it's not a forest that deals with fire. Some, fi some forests literally... <laughs> fire is part of, like, what happens. You know, you, you might see a forest fire and think, oh, that forest is dead. It's actually part of their cycle. They will... 
they will bear the fire. The fire eats up all the, um, what they call it, foliage or something on the grounds. And then, you know, the cycle happens over and over again. It's actually part of the, I guess you call it an ecosystem. It's, it's part of what the forest does. It knows how to deal with fires and that's cool. And the Amazon is not one of those types of fires. When fires happens there, they, they're not, the trees aren't growing again next year. It takes like 20 to 40 years for stuff to uh, to be, you know, to come back again, right? So that's that. Um, so that, but anyway, there's an alarmingly larger amount of fires this year. But when you compare it to what's been going on already, it kind of makes this current wave of like attention on it look a little bit disproportionate. We probably should have been this angry about what's happening over there already, right? Is the idea. But anyway, it looks like this, um, like a couple of hashtags went viral and there's been some interesting images that make the situation look terrible, even though it's like a terrible situation that's been happening for years from what I've been learning. So there's some images of the fires from space. Um, there is pictures of cities nearby that you know you can't see the sun there's so much smog and it makes it look like the fire is this thing that's happening now it's actually something that happens every year and has been getting worse each year more of the forest has been disappearing and the amount of fires are going up year by year basically so it puts things into perspective but i think i think the outrage if it leads to something good what comes of it is probably necessary it's just when i first learned about this it kind of seemed like the like a, oh no, our Amazon forest is going to burn down and be gone type event. Whereas it's actually like, oh no, this has been going on for years. And there's just all of a sudden this kind of like media storm happening right now. So there's this statistic goes around that the Amazon provides, provides planet Earth with 20% of its oxygen. That is actually a debated statistic because it's obviously an estimate. And some people believe it's 10%. But you ask me, 10%, 20%, that's, that's big enough to go, hey, that thing is super important right there. Apparently, if one-fifth of the Amazon, as it currently stands, more burns away, then it will go into a like a, a, like a, like a negative feedback loop where the, eventually the whole thing's just going to turn into a savanna. Now, I don't know how much is currently burned. This is the thing that I couldn't figure out. Like, at the current rates of burning, when do we reach that one-fifth moment? Because again, when I first heard this statistical stuff, it kind of sounded like this fire is so big and out of control that that might happen right now. And again, I am not trying to diminish the fire or what's going on over there. I'm just trying to put it into a far more, I guess, balanced perspective. Like, it's right to be upset and to be angry and want something to change there. But let's make sure we get all the statistics right, you know? I think, that, I think that's really important with a lot of stuff. Whatever it is you believe in, is get the underlying stuff correct. Whatever it is we're going to debate and discuss, let's try and get some facts in there as the baseline. And if the facts don't support our argument, then we should be happy that the facts are that way, right? Okay, so what's people in chat saying about the Amazon? We also got gifted subs from Raid. Raid, I thank you. We're going to have a little bit more chat and then I'll read out your uh, subscriptions. In my opinion, we need global trade tariffs on Brazil boat uh, imposed by the UN or something similar until they stop the Amazon fires for good. Well, that might be a bad tactic because the politics of the Brazilian leader is very much one of national uh, nationalism, national identity, which means, you know, our land, our rights, our sovereignty, that kind of mentality. And international meddling will probably provoke and aggravate them as opposed to find a solution. 80% of the forest is left in total after about 40 years of people chopping the woods and the fires, says Pollinator. Yeah, that's an interesting thing as well, right? Like, you always got to put these things into perspective. See, people were sharing images of cities being, um, like, covered in smog, but talking about it like it was an ongoing thing, whereas actually it was just like one day is what I could find out. One day did it look like this. I mean, obviously it's alarming, but let's get the statistics right, you know. I really do think you don't need to exaggerate in order to get across how serious this stuff is.